And uh, last night was the uh, Republican debate, and the race is on for the Republican presidential nomination. And after last night's debate in New Hampshire, one candidate really stood up, Representative Michelle Bachman of Minnesota. She's the newest addition to the race and upstaged her rivals when she made this announcement on CNN last night. I filed today my paperwork to seek the office of the president. All right, so welcome. And she drew one of the loudest rounds of applause when she predicted President Obama's future. On announced tonight, President Obama is a one-term oh, okay. president. Right. We'll win. Uh, Bachman is a favorite of, uh, of Tea Party voters, and uh, there was a theme last night, you know, as you might imagine, it was attacking President Obama. They targeted his handling of the economy and of health care, and they seemed more interested in criticizing Obama than each other. It was actually pretty nicey nice for the most part. So uh, now we're going to talk uh, more about the debate with our friend and chairman of the California Republican Party, Tom Del Bucaro. Good to How see you, Tom. Good to see you again. Well, that was kind of nicey nice, wasn't it? It was, uh, which is interesting because there's a presumed front runner, and for those who are not trailing him, you would think that they would want to step out. But as you put it, what's the technical term you use? Nicey nice. nice. It's a technical nice. political term. <laughs> Nicey nice. It is. Uh, now Bachman surprised me. She surprised an awful lot of people that she, you know, she's not a lightweight. She knows her stuff. Yeah, absolutely. She's a very hard worker. She actually likes. You called her wonky off air. That's that. She mm -hmm. likes to know a lot of stuff, and and she likes to mix it up. So you're right. She's not a lightweight. She will be. She will give every one of them a run for her their money. All right. How do you think that Romney uh, fared last night, being the, being the presumed front runner? Well, it seems like the consensus is nobody laid a hand on him. This was a good opportunity for a Palenti or someone else to say that Romney wasn't this or wasn't that, and that just didn't appear. So, mm -hmm. when you're the front runner, you don't want to take on water. You don't want damage. So, by that standard, he did just fine. All right. Now, I saw a poll uh, in the last week that uh, that, that said that 28 percent of of people. 28% uh, of voters said that they would not vote for a Mormon under any circumstances. And that number being so high really surprised me. Do you think that, uh, that Romney's going to have a, a religion problem? You know, even in this age, it's funny, when his father reached his heights, uh, there was less of a problem. Mm -hmm. Now it seems to be more of a problem. Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, it's hard to tell. There are some places where it helps, Nevada. Mm -hmm. Some places it doesn't help as much in the South. So we'll have to see. It's something they have they take into consideration. Trust me. All right. Now, Newt Gingrich's campaign just collapsed last week when uh, all of his uh, his top aides, they quit because they, they felt that he uh, wasn't committed to the cause. He relaunched his campaign on Sunday. Is he done or is he still in this thing? Well, I think what you saw last night is Newt, uh, Newt also knows a ton of stuff. He can debate with the best of them and he's very forthright. You know, the front runner may may not take as many chances. You're going to see Newt take a lot of chances in this because he's got, in a sense, nothing to lose. No, he doesn't. If people assume he's not not going to make it, so I think he's going to be very good. At him. Herman Cain and Ron Paul mm -hmm. get to shape the debate to a large degree, and the others have to play w within their parameters. So it should be interesting. You're going to see a lot of good discussions. So there's some smart people on that stage. All right. Now, does Sarah Palin get into this race? You know, I still don't think so. I, I, I think the, if you look at what she's been doing over the last two years, that doesn't lend itself to running for the presidency. But, as you know, people like me go bankrupt making predictions. <laughs> All right, we've got about a minute left, so you know what I've got to ask you. Anthony Weiner, okay, the president says that he, uh, if he were Weiner, he'd resign. Uh, uh, Speaker Boehner has said that he needs to resign, that he, he's a distraction for Democrats. What do you think he should do? It's good for the Republicans, I guess. No, well, look, his problems are his problems. I wouldn't say Democrats are good, better, and different because of what he did. We shouldn't, we shouldn't globalize it. I just don't understand how a man thinks in this Internet age that they could do this. And, and at what point did he decide... Well, the prostitute, I can trust her. That, that, <laughs> that kind of, that you know, troubles me. Yes, here's someone I can confide in. She yeah, won't tell anybody. She's already jumped the tank already on the, on the, on the trustworthy issue in some ways. Um, look, if stuff keeps leaking out, yeah. then it is a big embarrassment for the Democrats in Washington. But you know what? My understanding is he needs the money and he needs the job. And you know what? People have come back before. Yes. I think, though, this shows some, I don't know, maybe there's some judgment issues there or not. 
But, you know, you can't count people out. I mean, Richard Nixon was gone, and oh, he sure. became president. And Bill Clinton was impeached, you know. Yeah, and, 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 so. and finished up with high personal approval ratings. So, yeah. it, as long, but if it keeps leaking out, not going to be good. All right. Tom Del Bacaro, thanks for being with us. Sure. All right. Come see us again. Thank you.